Hey guys, are you bored of making this simple mask transition many times? Well, I got you. Today, I will show you a unique method of mask transition which I mostly use in my edits. So, let's jump right into it. Now, open After Effects and ready your clips according to the beat of the song and place a marker where you want your mask transition. For me, it's here. Now, we will do motion tracking on our clips. For that, click on Stabilize Motion and follow me. Click on apply and uh, do this for X and Y both. Now you will have this black bars over there. So to remove this search motion tile in effects panel. Follow my settings. Now do this for all of your clips. After doing this, position your character in the middle of the frame. Now for that 60 fps smooth edit, we will need to enable two options right here which is frame blending and motion blur. So select your all the clips and double click on this icon right here and enable this icon also. Now you will find these glitches on the starting and end of the clip. So you can remove it by going one frame ahead and uh, splitting your clip by pressing Ctrl Shift D, disabling this icon here. Now as you can see the glitches have been fixed. So we will select these two, right click on it, press on pre-compose and select second option. Now do this for every clips. Pro tip, you can navigate at starting and end of the clip by pressing I and O on your keyboard. Now after that select your all the clips and enable motion blur right here. And now apply your texture and zooms. Now here you can see I have used microwave for my edit. Now our transition part comes here. So for that duplicate the second clip by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard then go one frame ahead and uh, split it by pressing ctrl shift d and delete the extra part now right click on this layer go to time and hit on freeze frame now your clip will be freezed stretch this clip to the part where you want mask transition by pressing alt on your keyboard now select a mask tool right here you can select the shapes as you want. For me, I will go with rounded rectangle too. So select the clip and mask the part you want. For me, it's Billy's face. Now precomb this layer by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Enable the motion blur. Now we will add Twixter Pro to it. After that, copy my settings. Put the speed here to 40. After this, to provide the edges of this mask a rough surface, we will add the effect called rough in edges. Now here, you can play with the settings as you want or you can copy my setting. Search the effect called PCC Drop Shadow and add it to the layer. After that, copy my settings. Now we need to mask this clip for that. Press S on your keyboard and disable this link option here. Put a keyframe of scale on the starting. Go one frame ahead and put the first value to 120. Go one frame ahead and put its value to 100. Again go one frame ahead and now put the second value to 121. Go one frame ahead, put this value to 100. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. 
position the anchor point of this clip in the middle of the mask clip for that we will select this span behind option tool right here now we will drag this anchor point to the middle of the mask clip now do this for all the clips now for that flash transition duplicate your layer by pressing ctrl d add the effect called fill and change its color to white now add the deep blue and copy my setting now go to the start of the clip press p on your keyboard and put a keyframe of opacity here go to the end of your clip change its value to zero select both the keyframes f9 to easy ease them select speed the graph then copy my graph now as you can see our flash transition is looking amazing repeat this process in all the clips now your unique mask transition is ready that's it for today guys i hope it helped you and if it did then make sure to like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel and comment the topic on which you want the next tutorial if you have any doubts or problems then you can join my discord server via the link in my bio i will try my best to solve your problem see you in the next tutorial